Dear students, I welcome for the ENT segment. Let us discuss one previous year question. The male in the second decade complaining of nasal obstruction, abstraction. Now you tell me, but if male in the second decade is coming to in the ENT department with nasal symptom, which two differential diagnoses should come in your mind, young boy? I will go for angiofibroma or antrochoral polyp. The examiner is giving you the CT findings. So in the last examination, they have given you some CT finding. There is a soft tissue mass in the nose going into the nasopharynx and coina. So the word coina is confusing you. It's just giving you the message that it is antrochoral polyp. Not at all. The word apistaxis is ruling out the antrochoral polyp. So I will be going for angiofibroma because the word apistaxis is there. Importance of keywords, importance of previous year MCQs in the last spell. So you should be confident, you should be aware which topics are very important. Don't run behind quantity in the last spell beta. We will just revise our important topics we'll revise our concise notes i'm understandable so just make a flow chart in your mind there is a mass in the nose young boy bleeding present angiofibroma no bleeding i'll be going for antrochoral polyp now one option is there mucomycosis and if you have revised my notes properly which word which word will help you to rule out the diagnosis diabetic so diabetes is not there in the mcq i will not go for mucomycosis and if there is a mucomycosis what can be the other possibility they can ask you the drug of choice they can ask you the important findings of mucomycosis i hope you're getting my point and the fourth option the fourth option is your rhinosporiosis so all my students your eyes will be searching for which word will be searching for mulberry mulberry like polyps rhinosporiosis mulberry like nasal mucosa that is your hypertrophic rhinitis but the word mulberry is not there so i will not make the diagnosis of rhinosporiosis i hope you're getting my point so with the help of these four choices beta so this is a motive of pyq where our all faculties will discuss the mcq will they will help you to rule out the choices they will tell you the importance of each option and with the help of option we'll revise multiple multiple topics i understand so we welcome you to this pyq session i promise you better in the last spell it will help you to revise in a very fast mode and the importance of time fast revision in the last spell beta. the students who will focus on the revision segment those students will focus on the concise notes they will be on the other side of the game and those students who are running behind quantity beta it is not possible to mug up all the 19 subjects so it is high time high time to focus on high yielding topic and this pyq sessions will help you so let us meet on 14th of feb in the evening in the ent section